Hey everyone, that's Art Katrin, and today in this lesson I'm gonna show you how to draw this beautiful park. We're gonna draw it in axonometric style, so let's begin. You're gonna find below in the description to this video, you may find a link where you can download my, my brushes that I'm gonna use. The PNG elements, textures, what we're gonna use. You will have few textures, so you may choose which one you will like more. Uh, again, few elements in PNG format, textures, um, PNG, tiles, and again, textures. We're gonna draw with you this park, and we're gonna draw it on models that I've built for you for this lesson, but also you're gonna have an outlined version. So, for example, if you don't want to draw, like, uh, outline the way I'm gonna do, you can just okay i'm gonna show it here you can just use this version it's already outlined one if you just wanna add textures learn see how to draw how it works and stuff you can use this version but if you want to outline like uh, to build the sketch the way it goes from zero uh, the way i start all my sketches always you may use this model so let's begin. Also, uh, I'm gonna add a video here how to download brushes and how to use uh, trees in PNG format or any other image in PNG format. So uh, what I'm gonna begin with, I'm gonna open this model. I press uh, the picture and I tap save to photos. I open up Procreate, that's where I work. I use Procreate app, Pencil second generation and iPad Pro 2022. So let's begin. All right, first what we're gonna start with, I'm gonna create a new Canva. Uh, we use always centimeters and I will use 30 per 30 centimeters. Usually I use DP, DPI around 350 or 300, but you should choose it um, by your tablet. So for example, I have iPad Pro and that's why I have more possibilities to add a larger DPI, higher DPI. Because uh, here I see that if my DPI is 350, I can have 35 layers. If I put DPI 500, you, uh, I may have 15 layers. If you have normal iPad, not Pro, you will put 500 DPI and it maybe will not you even allow you to create, this, uh, create that much high image. And you may have only two or three or five layers. So always look at uh, how old or how new your iPad is. So I usually use 350 or 400. 400 is enough for me. We're not going to use more than 10 layers, so 26 is okay for me. Color profile, I always use RGB. RGB is for uh, digital illustrations and SMIC we use when we want to print our images here. And I press create. Here we open our layer. All right, uh, if I, you think that I'm going to work too fast then just press uh, pause and after you're gonna continue so we're gonna open photo i'm gonna insert the image very first and i press fit to canva all right here we go if you don't know how all the features in Procreate work, you may find my videos Introduction to Procreate, Introduction to Procreate 2 and Hidden Features in Procreate also, so you can learn how it works if you are new to it. So, I'm gonna choose black color. I create here in layers, new layer. And from the brushes that we have here, I will choose Rapidograph. Here I have saved my two favorite sizes of Rapidograph, so you may use which one you will like more. First one is thicker, second one is bigger, so you can see the difference here. Okay, so um, we may use here 
drawing guide so i am gonna go to settings canva drawing guide on add drawing guide and i use isometric this blue dot we can move so i'm gonna use this blue dot here i will put it to the corner and first i think we may begin with this side with the lines that go this way so i take this green dot and i turn it the way i need it so since i have this blue dot here it means that this line should finish here and i just added it here i will put the grid size a bit bigger okay perfect and press done I'll put opacity a bit down so I don't see those lines a lot. That's okay for me. All right, so I'm going to press drawing and drawing assist and I start outlining everything. Even if we have drawing assist, I can press here, just my uh, finger, I tap. And here I'm going to draw straight lines. So we need straight line here. With drawing guide, I'm drawing one line here. And again, line, finger tap, and here straight line. I'm going to explain to you once again, if you didn't get to why we do that, how it works. Here. If you don't draw all the lines till the end, it's not a problem because anyways, later we're going to switch them off. All right, next we need to do this one. Let's do it from here. One, two. When you draw this kind of sketches you need to be really careful you should always notice which which line where it ends where it should belong and see how you can manage and end it here this one i'm just gonna draw like this okay this one we will draw later and let's go to this line I double check. All right, we need to draw this stand. One. And these lines. Actually, outlining is my favorite part of process. It's so calming. I just relax. I put movie uh, just behind and just outlining, relaxing. You can just put on pause if you would like to outline those lines. But it needs to be done. When you draw this kind of sketches for order, it might cost from 100 to 150 euros. It always depends on the complexity on your skills if you're new to it or if you're already a pro so here all right and continue again all those lines we're gonna make them one by one so one gonna be concrete one gonna be grass but with the texture we will decide with you later we're gonna make it look good with you and after once you finish this artwork you will have already one amazing artwork in your portfolio which you can use later which you can publish in your account it may look even better <laughs> and 
the outline until the end. It does take time, but it's worth it. Okay, this one, this one goes here. Pay attention where your lines go. They all should follow the line, which is here. I guess it's so visible. But anyways, if you're gonna have any questions, just text me, DM me, comment the video. I'm always here to help. Okay, this one is super slim, so I'm gonna draw it a bit bigger for one millimeter. Okay, here. This model I made in SketchUp and transferred it here. Okay, I think that here we are done. And now we're gonna go again to the settings, Canva, Drawing Guide, Edit Drawing Guide. I take again this green dot because with those lines we are done. And now we need to draw lines on this side. So I'm just gonna turn it here and this blue dot I'm gonna place right in this corner. Okay, a bit more. It doesn't really matter if you will be like one millimeter far or one millimeter closer. Like more important that you will understand your drawing, you will understand what and where it belongs, so you don't get confused. I really like when it's like everything exactly at the same place. I'm not really perfectionist, but with the drawing, I need to make sure it looks amazing. Here, here we draw straight lines. So again, I let's do it from the beginning. So. I have the drawing assist on, so if I draw like this, it will be straight, okay? So I just draw the straight line here. I do not let my pencil go, so I drew the line and kept it on the tablet. And now I can turn it. I press my finger and that's how I'm gonna draw a straight line. Again, do not let the pencil press and tap, that's all. Very easy. I explain more of these functions in my free YouTube lesson about Procreate. So if you haven't watched it, please, you're welcome to get the introduction to this program. Actually, I think that this program should cost even more because uh, you can do amazing things here. But that's amazing that it's available for everyone and everyone can draw it here. Okay, and now again, press and end here. All right, we are getting to it. So now I'm switching off the drawing assist and I'm gonna, aha, uh -huh, something didn't work out. Now, okay, and I draw this half ellipse. I press edit and I edit the shape the way I need it. So I need it like this and I draw the thickness. Okay, once again. Pay attention that it should be slimmer here and bigger here, even like this because we're gonna end it here. All right, here I'm gonna draw a straight line and here I'm gonna draw another straight line already without drawing assist. So I just draw. I do not let pencil go and it's automatically becoming straight like this okay this one we're gonna do the same and here 
we need to finish this so here i draw a straight line just follow my instructions i draw a straight line here i make it circled here i pre okay it's all right anyways we're gonna switch it off as i said so it doesn't need to be so perfect and here i press line arc and edit in the shape the way i need it it didn't end really well here so i'm gonna erase it uh, i'm gonna draw okay it doesn't work out okay so what do i do in this situation i open the brush set i duplicate it i go to the settings and here we have stabilization and i put amount probably 58 and now you see the line is following me so for example if here is amount like this and i draw like this i put the amount on 40 and now i cannot draw this way because the line is following my pencil very smoothly okay so i'm just gonna draw a very smooth line that's okay here we're gonna do kind of the same okay i need to put stabilization higher straight line I will turn the image and draw this line from here to here. Okay, now I go here, this side, again straight line, turn in the image and finish in here. And last line may go this way uh -huh. so left only one bench here we're gonna do also like this i'm gonna opa that's amazing look how smooth it was okay and here i guess we had no no straight line so we're gonna just follow this line and finish here. Now let's draw this bench. It's gonna go even more down so we, we don't see it, so we don't draw it here. like this and duplicate uh -huh. line okay something doesn't work out so let's just carefully draw it perfect and now uh -huh left on this, this part this one is my favorite because it's easy one i created a new layer and i'm gonna choose the old rapidograph that is basic one not without uh, not with stabilization just normal rapidograph and look what we're gonna do here with you i draw straight line without drawing guide press the finger and here i have straight line on yes on drawing guide we have lines that go this way that's amazing so i draw this much big line here now i switch off the drawing assist and again top so here we have first side second side i'm gonna draw by myself without drawing assist you can do the same because you have this model which we are using also go here 
and again draw the line and top perfect switch up drawing assist and here draw perfect now again we draw it on different layer what allows us to duplicate it so i duplicate press the arrow and move it here this way now i combine them just by swiping like this and again duplicate see very easy but i'm gonna choose now another color i will go to the layer between the wood and the model itself create new one Pull, uh, switch on drawing assist and i will draw a line here so i see where it should end so you see those lines go perfectly but those ones already a bit in front so i return to this layer that we just duplicated and i will move it to the red line now again combining like this duplicate and place it here mm -hmm. combine duplicate and place them here combine duplicate and follow the line place them here mm -hmm. Now, I do not combine them, I just duplicate the last one and place them here because if I would have combined them, I would have had longer amount of, of those parts that I need. So for me, it's better. This red line that I drew, I just swipe and delete it. And now what we do is we combine everything without the model. Pay attention here. This model is separately. Now I switch it off. We will not gonna delete it for now. We're just gonna keep it here. And first step is done. So this was first part of this lesson. I'm gonna separate this lesson into two parts. So next one is gonna be already detailing. See you in the second part.